we know that the in a projectile motion the horizontal velocity is constant and the vertical velocity changes or varies with time because it has a acceleration in the down, downward direction given by g so at any instant of time the resultant velocity is different and it will make different angles with the horizontal because of the change in the vertical velocity so it will look like this at this instant the angle is this at this instant the angle changes and at this instant the angle is something different so let the initial velocity be given by u which makes an angle theta with the horizontal now at low, let at any instant the velocity of the particle be v which makes an angle alpha now since the horizontal velocity at any instant of time is constant i can write the simple equation that u cos theta is this is the horizontal velocity at time t equal to 0 and we can see that since the resultant velocity at, at some time t makes an angle alpha with the horizontal the horizontal velocity at time t is given by v cos alpha now this has to be equal because there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction so this two terms has to be equal the horizontal velocity at time t equal to 0 which is u cos theta should be equal to the horizontal velocity in, at time instant time t so this has to be equal and from this we can find the value of velocity at any instant of time t as u cos theta by cos alpha right now the velocity the in the y direction we can write it as since it's a uniformly accelerated motion i can write it as u sin theta this is the initial velocity in y direction minus gt okay and the resultant velocity will be, will be what the resultant velocity will be given by square root of vx square plus vy square this is the resultant velocity which is equals to u square cos square theta because since the horizontal velocity is constant plus u sin theta minus gt whole square now what will be the angle alpha the tan of angle alpha is what the velocity in y direction by the velocity in x direction right in questions like in a triple e this formula becomes very important because there you need to solve many questions in limited amount of time so rate questions are very pretty obvious so you need to remember it's good if you remember this formula but this formula is pretty obvious now this was calculation of instantaneous velocity at some any instant time now let's move into some different domain where we say let us find the instantaneous velocity at some height h we now don't talk of time t we talk of in terms of the height h the initial velocity here again is given by u which makes an angle theta with the horizontal so the initial velocity in the x direction is u cos theta the horizontal velocity in the y direction is u sin theta okay now since the horizontal velocity is constant again we will write the horizontal velocity at any instant of time t as that should be same that is u cos theta and the vertical velocity given Height h we can find using another equation of motion for uniformly accelerated accelerated motion that is equal to v, uh, that is equal to v v final square minus v initial square is equals to the acceleration. So v y is the final velocity minus initial velocity velocity u square sine square to uh, theta u square sine square theta. The square of the initial velocity is u square sine square theta. That should be equal to the Two times acceleration into the height. Now, we had assumed initially that upward direction to be positive, and the this direction to be positive in case case of x. Now, since the velocity, uh, this since the acceleration is in the negative direction, the acceleration is negative, so we'll write this as minus two gh. So, no, if we know the height of the particle, 
the height we are which we are talking about if we know the initial velocity and the angle theta we can find the velocity at the velocity in the y direction at an instant at any position h now again since the final velocity makes an angle alpha with the horizontal we can write this to be equal to v cos alpha and from there we can again find v so this was all about instantaneous velocity of the particle now let us calculate we have already calculated the time of flight the range of the particle so let's recapture it there the next part is the time of flight the time of flight is what it's the, the time taken by the particle to reach the ground so if this is the projectile motion a particle starts from this position which is the origin and it lands up here so the time it takes to land up here is the time of flight so let's calculate the time of flight of the particle let the initial velocity be u which makes an angle theta with the horizontal now we know that we can treat the motion in horizontal direction and vertical direction separately so let's look and look into the motion in the vertical direction the initial velocity in the vertical direction is u sin theta now when the particle lands up here what is the displacement of the particle in the vertical direction if you look on, only in the vertical direction initially the vertical uh, the part, position of the particle in the vertical direction had a coordinate 0 at this position again the particle has a coordinate y equals to 0 so basically in the y direction it hasn't done any displacement so the, the displacement of the particle in the y direction is 0 so writing the equation of motion of a uniformly accelerated particle we have y equals to ut plus half at square now since the displacement in this direction is zero i'll write this as zero the initial velocity is is u sin theta the acceleration is in the different direction in the downward direction so it is minus g times t square from this i'll get the time t the the particle takes to land up here is 2 u sin theta by g this is the expression for the time of flight of the particle which is nothing but capital t now the other thing which we need to know what what is the range covered by the particle the range covered by the particle is the maximum horizontal distance the particle covers that is the range of the particle and so in the horizontal direction we know that the displacement is given by ux into t since there is no acceleration now ux is what u cos theta so when the particle lands up here what is the time the time is nothing but the time of flight of the particle so the time of flight we are already calculated as 2u sin theta by g so i will write this as 2u sin theta by g and we'll get the range of the particle as u square sin 2 theta by g right now the other thing we which we know need to know is what is the maximum vertical height attained by the particle that we term it as capital h now we need to find out the value of capital value of h so at this position what is the velocity of particle in the vertical direction at this position the the particle has a velocity in this direction 
so it has no velo zero velocity in the vertical direction also we can uh, this we can clearly say that the velocity of particle in the vertical direction is zero because if there had been a velocity in the vertical direction the particle would have continued to move further up in the vertical direction the particle is now going down in the vertical direction because its velocity in the vertical direction has is zero now and it there is a acceleration in the downward direction so it will now come down had there been a vert velocity in the vertical direction it would have continued to move up so the velocity of the particle in the vertical direction at this instant of time is zero we know that for a uniformly accelerated motion this equation holds good so the final velocity in this case is zero the initial velocity is u sin theta the acceleration is minus g and the h is the hi maximum height attained by the particle so the maximum height attained by the particle is given by u square sin square theta by 2g we had already find out find out, found out that the range of the particle is u square sin 2 theta by g dividing these two equations the value of h and r will find out that tan theta where theta is the initial angle initial angle made by the velocity vector with the horizontal is given by 4h by r so till now what we have learned is we have found out the equation for the time of flight of the particle we have found out the range of the particle we have found out the maximum height attained by the particle and then we have correlated the value of h r and tan theta